1230 this afternoon, the van was parked here in this lot with all five dogs inside. The owner went inside, but he left the keys in the ignition. It was only a couple of minutes later. The van and those dogs were gone. His name is Pippin. He's Papillon. He's 12 years old and he's going blind. He's very attached to mom. Yes, my dog is my family. My, he's my life. And when I got the text message saying I have bad news, the van was stolen with the dogs in it. And I couldn't believe I was reading that. Her dog sitter, George, reluctant to report the terrible news. His own four poodles also missing after someone stole his car left unlocked. To me, it's like taking a kid. This is Randy, Amber, Molly, and Bentley. Left alone for only minutes. They filed a police report and called Brockton Animal Services. But as hours go by, their minds race about who could steal so many loving pets. The van can be replaced, my tools can be replaced, whatever. But give me my kids back. The pack together for five years. Hopefully now also together until their safe return. My concern is getting a phone call that I'm not prepared to handle. That's my concern. Because it's the holidays and I just lost my cat two months ago. And I don't want to lose my dog. I love my dog and my dog loves me and I need him to come home. Now the van stolen from this lot was a gold 2006 Chrysler Town and Country. The uh, dog owners, of course, are hoping that whoever that thief is, is also an animal lover and has a change of heart. We're live in Brockton. Sean Shai about WCBB News Center 5. Sean, thank you. New tonight, Greek life at Tufts University. That is on hold. It comes a month after administrators launched an investigation into accusations of hazing and sexual misconduct within the fraternity system there. All social activity by frats now suspended. Fraternities and sororities have canceled new member recruitment in the spring semester. Tufts is also planning alcohol, hazing, and sexual misconduct training for fraternities. Administrators say their investigations are ongoing. Right now, this 15-year-old is being held without bail, accused of killing his classmate. The teenager from Lawrence was in court for the first time today, days after the victim's body was found decapitated. New Center 5's Jorge Quiroga live in Lawrence with the police tonight responding to allegations that they didn't do enough. Jorge. And Maria, tonight we are learning that shortly after the 16-year-old murder victim was reported missing, his friend and now the murder suspect may have purposely led police away from the grisly scene here on the Merrimack River. 15-year-old Matthew Borges of Lawrence charged with murdering his school friend. 16-year-old Lee Valoria Paulino stabbed, his head cut off. I can't imagine the horrific pain that he went through. It is so frustrating to hear that we are not safe here. In a courtroom packed with frustration and grief, Paulino's mom wondering if police could have acted sooner to find her son and his alleged killer. From very early on, who they have in custody now, we knew that I had left with my son and that his story did not make sense. I understand the grieving process and um, I would contend that we did everything that we could have. Paulino's decapitated body located along the banks of the Merrimack River last Thursday, nearly two weeks after he was first reported missing. His hands cut off have not been found. So again, there was some information that was given us to us that, that sent us in the wrong direction. The accused killer says he and Paulino came to the river to smoke marijuana. During the initial search, Borges leading police away from where the body was eventually found. Paulino's mom says nothing about the process brings justice. It won't bring my son back at all, so I don't, I don't even like that word. It's gonna break your heart. It does. It's heartbreaking, and um, in generations, I, I don't recall anything like this ever happening in the city of Lawrence. The chief says going forward, police want to be part of the healing process. Investigators tonight not saying if they actually have recovered the murder weapon. Facing trial as an adult, Matthew Borges was ordered hell without bail. Live in Lawrence, Jorge Quiroga, WCBB News Center 5. All right, Jorge, thank you. Rentham police are hoping you can help them catch this armed robbery suspect. He was caught on camera last night robbing the show.